what you guys are gonna see now for the first time in a long time, if at all, is I'm gonna, we just got a dog in. So I'm gonna show you what a first session looks like with the dog. Um, they're working on basic stuff. So I'm gonna show you what, what the first session looks like. So I'm gonna go in and grab the dog. Come on out. Okay, Google. Off. All right, you guys, so Hazel is working on basic obedience, impulse control, mouthiness, and jumping. So a lot of things that, you know, a lot of you guys are probably working on at home. And that is an Airedale, Katrina? Yeah. Okay, Google. Play classical music volume all the way up. Very excited, very bouncy. Okay. So all these things, very, very typical terrier, very typical dog, really. A lot of the behaviors that you guys are seeing here, the jumping, the uncontrolled on the leash, pulling, uh, overexcitement is just literally lack thereof structure, lack thereof what do you want him to do other than this. So no punishment, <laughs> um, no direction, no leadership, no basic foundation. So let's see what we can do with this pup. So we're gonna start off with some relationship building stuff. Hazel, come. Yes, good calm. Yes, good calm. So I'm just doing a little introduction to some food. Good, good. Just a little bit of structure here. So leash pressure if we're not paying attention and then food if we are. Checking me out. Yes, good sit. Okay, heel. Good, Hazel, heel. Good heel, good. Good job. Heel, good, good. Hazel, sit. Yes, good sit. Just developing that very basic relationship. Okay, break. She doesn't know really any of this stuff yet, but I have to start somewhere with the breaking, the sitting, um, all that stuff. So that's what we're working on. If you guys don't know about the No Bad Dog Members Club, it's a 1999 subscription-based service. You guys are getting the full-length videos that you see here on YouTube. This is gonna be a 15, 20 minute video. The full-length video is an hour. You're getting the seminars. You're getting the No Bad Dog Army community. We are helping each other out. We're empowering each other. We're not punching down. We're not making fun of, we're not judging. It's a really special thing and I'm so happy and grateful to be a part of it. Click the link below to join the official No Bad Dog Members Club. So just giving her a little bit of break, letting her be a dog. That's the fundamentals of my basic, basic behaviors. And that's the thing, guys, is every single dog trainer has different ways of doing things. And I know that most of you guys understand that and you read between the lines when you get somebody that's like, you should never, and how dare you, and don't you know? Everybody has different ways of doing everything. So I'm just giving you some of the ways that I'm doing it. And one of my basic things is break, teaching the dog to be a dog on command. I think it's very important that if we're gonna ask a dog to do something in line and make sure that they do it, we also have to give a command to break them as well. So we're gonna get back into work. Obviously being a, a terrier, we're very interested in a lot of things. Hazel, heel. Yes, good heel. Good heel, uh-uh, heel. Hazel, yes, good. So just starting to create that uh, name recognition. Heel, yes, good girl. Good heel, again the guys, this is our first session. Good job. Heel, good. Sit, yes. Good, almost got a jackpot for that. My jackpot would be the whole treat. Just doing very good. So we're gonna start doing some break, break. That's what I like to do to introduce the break, you guys. Take a little piece of food like this, break. And just throw it on the ground. Just, just sending the dog away from you in a sense. So now she's on her break. So again, right now, first session, just came in a couple hours ago. Never been trained before, all over the place. Paid a lot of money to be here. We're gonna tune her up. Hopefully this give you guys good information at home working on the fundamentals of leash pressure, how to yield to leash pressure, understanding how to be calm like she's starting to be right now. And then of course the break, the sit and all that stuff. Doing very good so far. Hazel, heel. Yes, good heel. Good heel. Yes, good heel. Yes, good heel. So that engagement I really, really like. So of course when I'm introducing this stuff, ah, 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 nope. Ah. So there, just a little bit of pressure you guys saw. Directional change, heel. Yes, a little bit of pop there, good. So I'm gonna tune her up, watch how I do this, guys. Heel, yes, good heel, that's excitement, I'm okay with that. Good, heel, yes, good heel, well done. Well done, good heel. I spent uh, almost a week in the UK. I did a seminar in London a couple weeks ago, so now I have different things like well done and things like that and, and, and well happy and chuffed on my UK peeps. I remember all that stuff. Sit, 
Yes, jackpot. Freak! Got the jackpot because that was a dog that's never been introduced heel, never felt leash pressure like he, she had before. She healed around probably four or five times, and then she sat beautifully, bang, jackpot. That's it, you got it. Lots of positive reinforcement, tons of positive reinforcement when we're introducing stuff like this because we want the dog to have fun and really realize the bigger picture here to engage with the handler and not anything else. So right now she's checking out one of the contractors. We're gonna get her attention. Hazel, yes, yes, good girl, good. And just kind of paying her for, hey, this is me. Pay attention to me. Yes, good girl. And of course we're using food to start that relationship. Hazel, heel, ah, good. So you guys see that, you see that deflectiveness she has when I give her pressure. She kind of, she kind of darts backwards. That's because she's never been punished. It's kind of like a kid getting away with everything their whole life and an adult looking them straight in their face and saying, no, it defeats them a bit. They get stressed about it a little bit and um, it's new to them. So that's what you're seeing there. It's part of it. It's actually a good part of it. Heel. Ah, good. So just a little bit of pressure there. We got another, another dog out there working. So one of the things that you guys saw on the chart there was thresholds and impulse control. So impulse control is exactly that. Good sit, I'm gonna take a piece of food, we're gonna throw it on the ground, we're gonna hold that sit. Yes, good decision break, just like that, well done. So you guys just saw that, that was absolutely beautiful. I put her into a sit, took a piece of food, I showed it, threw it on the ground, she stayed in her sit, and then she went and got it. So that was really good. Yes, it was really good. Every single dog that I work with, as you guys may or may not know, maybe you're new to this channel. If you are, don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel. We put videos out like this every single week, sometimes twice a week. But if you're not familiar with my channel and how I train, every dog is different. Every single dog is a new canvas, a blank canvas. My job as a dog professional, I'm not even a trainer. I'm more than an educator. I'm a professional. I help people understand their dogs. And right now, this dog is showing me all the signs of continual progression. So I'm gonna keep taking it up another notch. If this dog was very nervous still and still trying to figure things out, I wouldn't do that. So we're gonna take it up a little bit and really start to work on those thresholds with a little bit more ump. So let's see what that looks like. Heel. So just a little bit of pressure guys when I'm developing this heel. So I don't care that she's sniffing, but I don't want her to, like the, the leash has to be loose. Yes, good heel. I'm gonna give her a little break. I know. I know, I know, I know. Oh, oh yes, you're a sweetheart. Oh. Hey you guys, we're doing a giveaway on the Tom Davis Dog Tour 2ADC on this video. All you have to do to enter to win is subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification, like this video, and leave a comment down below to enter to win. All right, so we're gonna do another threshold, which is the gate, which is gonna be hard for her, because normally, like I always talk about, is dogs see that gate open, it's a portal. Boom, they go straight through. So we're gonna work on that. Hazel, sit. Good sit. Good sit. A <laughs> Little bit nervous, that's okay. So we're gonna put her back into a sit. Sit, yes, good sit. It's important that you guys see the process, because it's not all perfect all the time. So she got a little nervous because the gate made noise, which is not in my control or hers. So we're just gonna put her back into a sit here. And we're gonna work on this threshold of me going out. Yes, good sit. Paying her in the position we want her to stay in. Yes, good sit, good. Well done. Okay, break. So she just got over that little fear there. So before, when the gate hit the post or whatever the heck it did, she got out of there. This time, the gate hit the post and she thought about it, but she stayed in her sit, bang, jackpot. So again, threshold building. She's like, oh my God, I'm so nervous. I gotta get out of this situation. And she overcomes that through me being the leader, saying, no, it's good, you're good, you're good. And then I pay her for that. So again, micro macro, I talk about this all the time, every episode, every single session is, the small picture is, is the dog sat and stayed, cool. Learning obedience, learning behaviors. The bigger picture is she's taking direction, she's being more of a structured dog where she's looking for direction instead of just being a crazy dog like she was before. So very, very good. All right, so now we're gonna pull everything together with the heel, the sit and stay with the threshold. Hazel, heel. Good heel, well done, good engagement. Hazel, sit. Yes, good sit, stay. Again, remember, yes, good stay. This is her first session. A little nervous on, ah, ah, ah. So a little bit of pressure there. So right when she gets up, I just put, yes, good sit. I just remind her. So that was a correction, that was punishment. That's what some people um, are trying to ban in different countries was just that little correction there. So to, to most people that wouldn't look like a big correction, but that's exactly what it was, you guys, sit. Good stay. She's more interested in the dogs behind us. Nope. So again, a little bit of pressure, putting her back into a sit. Holding this, 
Yes, good sit. Good job, Hazel. I'm gonna reset really quick. I'm coming back here. Nope, sit. Good, stay. Coming forward. I'm gonna pay her for staying. Good, stay. It's a lot for her for her first session. There's dogs working behind us in board and train. Good. Okay, break, break, and then I can break her. So we're wrapping up her session. Again, this was her first session. I've never seen her, I've never touched her. That was very, very good. She's doing good, we're gonna put her back. We're gonna do it again later. Now there's two dogs over here working on uh, training. So my other trainers are over there working. I'm not gonna bring her through there. That's not realistic, that's not fair. She is not ready for that. If you guys are at home working on this very basic stuff, introducing the very basic things that we just did, you're gonna be doing this in a very non-distracted environment. So I'm not gonna bring her through these two dogs because she is not ready for that. You'll fail and you'll be frustrated. I'm gonna go through this door and walk her across and give her a break and send her to her kennel. All right, you guys, so like I said in the beginning, a little bit different, uh, get to work with you guys a little bit more one-on-one, -on -one. Um, just developing behaviors, not really working with problem behaviors, uh, the equipment, the training, the rewards, everything's gonna change depending on the dog. So that's what that looks like for a first session. If you guys haven't yet, do me a solid favor. We put these out absolutely for free for you guys. I hope this helps, of course. Uh, like, subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification bell. Of course, we're giving away uh, a bunch of stuff this month. And leave a comment in the comments below. And thank you for watching.